Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd, as well as my friends at YarnSpirations.com. Moving along in the stitch along, we're going to be concentrating on the ears. You'll notice that the ears are facing down. They look like this, okay, so they're just a round circle. They're not stuffed, and they are kind of bent like this, so when they're put onto the model, just like that. So you'll notice on my sample there's no slip stitching because it's a sin. <laughs> so if look had a sin, it would be the stitch, uh, the slip stitching. Because it's a tutorial, I'm allowed to tell you some tips that are not in the pattern to prevent any slip stitching lines that appear. So no matter how you turn this, you will not see where you stopped and started. Okay, so we're going to begin. You'll use a four millimeter size G6 crochet hook. And I'm going to be using a different color because brown on brown equals invisible. <laughs> Let's begin. So we're moving on to page two that you see right here with the ears. You're going to check it off your list. Grab a spare piece of yarn so you have that because we're not going to slip stitch today even though it tells you to do that. Uh, we're not crazy, right? So let's begin. Now it says with MC, that's main color, but I want you to create what is called this uh, magic ring. So use two fingers and put the yarn in front of your two fingers like this. So we have tutorials for magic rings if you need it. And then just come over and then cross over the back like this. Okay, so just in front of your two fingers, coming across like that. So you want it to cross over the top. Take your hook, come under the first one and grab this one here and pull through and just turn your hand over and just release it, your fingers out. And before you do much of anything, just chain one, and this will lock this ring. So when you go to crochet, you need to crochet over these two strands here and not this one on its own. So we're going to begin by putting six single crochet into this ring. So we're just gonna start counting. So we'll do one, two, three, four, five, four, five, and six. Pull up the ring and just let it hold to the side. In this one right here, put in a stitch marker. Okay, so put that spare yarn in. So we're not gonna attach it to the first one like we normally would, because I don't want any slip stitching. So just pull the yarn through. Now, what we're going to do is take this strand right here and we're gonna pull on it tight and turn it upside down, so towards the back. Kitty cat, shh, daddy's working. Okay, so we're gonna just put this onto a tapestry needle, and we need to secure this. If you do not secure this, kiss your ears goodbye, because they will not hold. So you need to just to come out, so it's coming out of this area here, so it's gone around, coming out. So you just wanna continue to go around. Shh. Daddy's working. I know. Life's rough, it's raining out. Okay, so we're gonna go in once. Don't interfere with anything. And then just go back in the opposite direction for number two. And finally, the third time is a charm. Shh, kitty cat. Shh. Plus, plus. Okay, and now we're gonna trim that. This will be on the inside of the ear, so you don't have to be too accurate, but as far as like that trimming. Now, we're gonna turn this back over to the good side of the work, and you're gonna put your hook back in, and we're going to begin round number two. So let's begin round number two. So we're not gonna be doing it like this is a circle. It is a circle, but it's not a, um, an equally spaced circle because they want it to be like a cone shape. So we're gonna be doing this. So you wanna to go to the sixth one back. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And that's your first stitch. So when you go over, you need to just reach over to there. And we're gonna single crochet into that one. So the pattern says that we're chaining one. I don't want you to, because we're doing it differently. So you don't get a slip stitch. So you're gonna single crochet that one. And then in the next one, you're gonna put two single crochets in one and two. So the repeat pattern for this um, round is that there's one into the next one and then two into the next one. One 
and two share the same. So one into the next one. And this is the very last stitch of the round and there will be two into that one. And every time you get to the very last stitch of the round, on the very last stitch, move the stitch marker up. So just going into the to that stitch and pulling that through. Shh, kitty cat. So just pull through and you're good to go. So you're gonna use that every time you're going around to know where you're stopping, stopping and starting. It's raining out, that's why the cat's upset. Okay, round number three. In the next one, okay, so you're gonna do, the next one is a single crochet, so it's the first one, and then the one after that is a single crochet, and now the next one is two single crochets into the same one. So just kind of remember is that there's two in a row, and then there's two that share the same. So the next one is one by itself, one by itself, Okay, and I'm just popping it towards me because it's easier to access. And then two into the next. Okay, and then we do the repeat again. So it's just one into that one, one into the next, and then two into the last. And, and every time you're on the very last stitch, pull that stitch marker through so you can see it every time and then you're going to move on so going ahead in this tutorial i'm just going to give you what the stitch multiple is and i expect you to move the stitch marker on your own let's move on to round number four round number four we're going to do the first three as by itself so we have one two and three and then two into the next. Okay, so your repeat is three by itself and then two in the next and you'll do that all the way around and I'll see you at the end of the round and make sure you move out that stitch marker. Round number five, the first four are by itself. We have one, two, three, and four, and then two into the next. So one and two. Please repeat that all the way around for round number five. Okay, round number six. You're going to do the first five by itself. So we have one, two, three, four, and five. I don't know if you hear the torrential rain, but there's two into the next. So five by itself and two into the next and do that around for round number six. Okay, round number seven. The first six are by itself, so we have one, two, three, four, five, and six, and then two into the next. So that's your repeat, so six by itself and two into the next, do that around for round number seven. Round number eight, the first seven are by itself, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and then two into the next. So one and two. Please do that around. So seven by itself and two into the next. Round number nine. We're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. I'll meet you at the end of round number nine, and then we're just gonna add another stitch marker and then we're going to finish off the ears together. We've got a little bit of distance to go and you can do that really quite quickly as well. I'll see you at the end of the round. So the pattern says is to mark it with the stitch marker, which we've already been doing anyway, but use the stitch marker. And from this point all the way to the end is gonna be a total of three inches. So what I just need you to do is just go round and round and round until you measure three inches. Don't worry about this moving the stitch marker because you're going to want to leave it there so you can count your stitch work or your uh, uh, inches and the amount of inches you do and then I'll show you how to do the final round so do three inches of just single crochet round and round I'll be right back at the end of three inches so once you get your three inches done from the stitch marker to here then you're ready to do the final round 
If it's the second one, I would make sure that you hold them up together to make sure that they are pretty much the same size. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do your last round and it will be one single crochet into the first. And actually, you know what I would do? I would put in another stitch marker so you can pull this one out, it's fine. And you can just move this up because we're gonna wanna know where when we get all the way around, right? And go with it, my friends. <laughs> so we're going to just start then. So you'll do one single crochet in the next, and then you're gonna do a single crochet two together. I'm gonna show you a way that it's done in amigurumi that's different than normal. So you're going to go into your first one, just go to the front loop only, and then go to your next one. So just move the hook and capture the second one. I'll show this to you a few times, and then yarning over, pulling it through, and then yarning over, pulling it through too. This is an amigurumi way of doing it so you don't end up with a line in your work. So we're gonna single crochet into the next and then we're gonna single crochet two together again. So just coming up, grab the front loop only, rotate the hook, grab the next loop, the front loop only, pull through those two if you don't drop your stitch <laughs> and then pull through two. So then a single crochet the next. I'll show you one last time. So up through the front loop, the front loop, pull through, pull through two. And you'll do that around. So single crochet and then single crochet two together using the technique I just showed you all the way back to the stitch marker. So I'm coming up to all the way to the end. I'm just putting the last two together. Okay, so what I would do then is that you wanna leave this a long tail so that you can use it to sew it to your basket and just do two of these guys and make sure you have it. So you can remove your stitch marker out if you want to and then you're good to go. Okay, so the last round caused it to kind of fold in a little bit just like that. And so when you attach it to your, your basket, you're gonna kind of fold it in like this to create an ear shape. And because of what we just did, there's no slip stitch at all. So make two of these for your basket and I'll see you again next time.